Today I'm down here checking out the East Verde River. Uh, I'm in Whispering Pines, Arizona. Uh, if you go about half a mile up the road from here, the East Verde River is dried up completely. Now I'm down here a half mile from there and there's flowing water. I'm not sure where the water's coming in from. Maybe some other side stream. But it, uh, it's quite a still little river up here and it is flowing. But I think I'm gonna follow it down and uh, see if I get a little bit more flow. And maybe then I'll have a little bit more luck in spotting some trout because I don't see a whole lot going on up here. It's pretty shallow, pretty slow, probably pretty warm. So if there is any fish in this river, they're downstream. What's up fellas? I hope you're friendly. Some big boys. Cactuses. Do not touch cactuses. flowing down there so I just looked at the map and uh, that flow of water that you heard coming spilling in that was uh, Ellison Creek you can see it here coming in and after that the East Verde River actually gets a little bit more flow to it uh, so all in all go south of Whispering Pines and that's when the, the river gets good so we're gonna go check that out I picked up the East Verde River in Whispering Pines and now I'm here and water wheel trailhead. Water looks nice, but I found the water wheel. There you have it, the water wheel. No longer in operation. This is all that's left of it. So I'm still heading down the river and I'm not finding any fish, but I am finding a lot of evidence of flooding, so all in all, I probably washed out a lot of these fish when it flooded. Not sure when it flooded, but everything shows signs of high water. This is only one of the spots. All the other spots look much worse than this, but yeah, so there's probably a good chance that I'm chasing a dream here. <laughs> That's all right. It's a beautiful part of Arizona. There's red rock cliffs hanging everywhere. Gorgeous waters, but I ain't finding any fish in them. Welcome to New Mexico. I got here last night, camped out just over the border. Uh, we're here for the infamous Gila Trout.
uh, we were trying to do that in Arizona and a lot of the places are dried up or had been washed out so there wasn't a lot of fish life around so we're here in New Mexico because there's supposedly better waterways for these types of trout we'll see uh, at this point I'm a little spectacle because the uh, a lot of the waterways are dried up and I mean literally there's no water in them at all so we'll see we're gonna go a little into the mountains and check some of these creeks where they claim that there's still some uh, some strains of gila trout and we'll see this road got pretty rad pretty quick No guardrail. So I just arrived here uh, at Willow Creek Campground. It's got some nice shade, some trees, and some nice picnic tables, some nice fire pits. They left some pine wood to burn, which is cool. But I'm gonna head further down the road and see if uh, this Willow Creek gets uh, a little deeper. It looks really nice down here. So that turned out to be a crap shoot. Uh, it went down Willow Creek Road and it turns into a private ranch and no trespassing. Um, unfortunately, I can't fish beyond here and I believe it gets better upstream. So I'm not gonna bother playing around down here, but I'm looking on the map and somewhere up on that mountainside, I can drop back down into it and I'm contemplating trying that. Now, it's lunchtime and I'm in the mood for a steak, but my steak is slightly frozen. So what's the best way to thaw a steak when you're out camping? After you've been driving around for a little bit, use your hot engine. That's gonna work a lot faster than letting it sit in the sun. So Willow Creek is no bueno, not gonna happen. That creek goes up that mountain, up and around the corner, and there's another leg of it up there, but the map doesn't show it going any further than that. And I don't see enough water down in that creek in order to make it worth it for me, because I know that it'll be little pan fry type stuff if I do even find any, and that looks like a, pretty long treacherous walk so I think we're going to the next body of water and uh, maybe we'll have more water and more luck. I lied. I'm going anyway. 
just gonna go right down to the bottom and see what I see. If I see more, I'll keep going. Totally gonna fall in my ass. I guess the real problem is I gotta come back up. That's gonna be a long way back up. Stairway to hell. I mean, stairway to Willow Creek. Well, I can hear the water, so I'm getting close. See it right down there. Whew. That's a daisy right there. It's like its own little rock climbing wall. <sighs> Alright, made it down safely. Sort of. Fell twice. Not bad. Now here's the Willow Creek. It's a very small creek. So my chances are pretty slim. But maybe I'll find a pocket of water a little further up. I don't plan on going any more than a couple hundred yards because I gotta come back and go up that notch. So I'll have my work cut out for me when I wanna leave. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Hatches happen right in front of me. But yet I come down here, I break my line, I lose my fly and realize I forgot to grab my little box of flies. So I walked all the way down here for like three casts. But hey, Welcome to fly fishing. It'll be fun, they said. You'll love it, they said. No, I'm just kidding, I love this shit. I'd walk down here anytime. Like, this is level. That's what I'm going up. Long walk down, long walk up. Glad that's over. Whew. And remember folks, sometimes your first decision is your best decision. What's up, wee man? I believe this is what was supposed to be Mogollon Creek. A little late in the season.
I don't know. If you were to ask me, I'd say the river's too muddy. Trout don't really like to swim in the mud. I don't think anybody wants to swim in the mud unless you're like catfish or some sucker fish or just nasty fish because muddy water sucks. That and I can't see anything, so I can't tell if anything's moving, if it's coming after a streamer. Ay, ay, ay. So the, uh, the Gila River is out. I mean, by the looks of it, the river's normally way back here. So, let's say it's down a bit. So, it appears I've been chasing ghosts the whole time. Uh, these Gila trout, they are in, I guess, captivity in order to keep them, uh, their lineage pure and to keep them alive because of all the wildfires and all the uh, flooding and I guess the back to the wildfires the the ash from the wildfires they usually just choke out the waters and kill the fish so that's uh, that's kind of my biggest problem trying to find any of these fish is they're just not here uh, they've been removed by fish and game and conservation outfits in order to sustain the Gila trout. Uh, it would have been probably one of my rare catches, but it's uh, looking like it's not gonna happen. But in the meantime, I drove up to Bill Evans Lake. Uh, some of the locals were telling me to go check it out. I don't think I mentioned to them, I'm much more of a trout fisherman. It's a trophy bass lake. But it's a beauty. For sure. So today's been kind of a tough day. I tried to get an oil change, I'm well overdue, and apparently a couple of Walmarts ago, they stripped out my drain plugs, and so now they're refusing to do my oil change unless I fix my drain plug. Oh, I know why they didn't want to do it. They destroyed the thing. <clears throat> That's hot. You gotta love when you're right, because you hate when you're wrong. That's that. I guess we get to do a successful oil change today. Holy, I think I have something stabbing me in the back. Ow. Oh, let that settle. We'll check the level, see if we could add some more, but that was uh, the first off-road oil change for Sibrilius. It's been pampered. You buy a new Jeep, you get some Mopar free oil changes. Those are nice, man. I didn't have to do nothing but drop it off. I get free courtesy rides. Yeah, no more courtesy rides. Those things ran out. I almost forgot. Need a new air filter. Boy, do I. Green one's in that one. 